It's that time of the year again. It is crawfish season. I can't wait. It's early in the season. The peak of the season is somewhere around April or May, but we're in February. But guess what? We got crawfish, two sacks of them. And I happen to have a really good buddy down here that made a trip and he is here to learn how to not only cook crawfish, but how to eat crawfish and enjoy the whole thing. This is Jeff Rice from the YouTube channel Dead Broke Barbecue. If you haven't ever checked out Dead Broke Barbecue, be sure to go over there and check him out. He's really good, good friend of mine. What do you think, Jeff? Well, I'm gonna say right now, Russ, that I drove 1,132 miles to come down to Mississippi and get myself some crawfish. <laughs> well, we're fixing to do it. You ready? I'm ready. Now, I will say that I had seven cups of coffee, four Mountain Dews, <laughs> just to get here. I drove nonstop, seriously, 20 hours in a vehicle with my family, but it is worth it and we are excited, so let's get this boil a-going. And a dog. Oh yeah, we got dog. We got Ernie with. In order to do this crawfish boil, we first had to get crawfish. And one of my favorite places to visit and go buy crawfish is a place that was two doors down from me growing up. It's Bozo Seafood. They have national recognition through the Food Network and channels like that. Just a small place, but man, they got some fantastic seafood. We got two sacks of crawfish. Now, once we got these crawfish, we had to bring them back and we had to get them nice and clean before we can cook them. They're mud bugs, they're covered with mud. So we had to get them clean with our crawfish cleaner. We got our fire starter, Derek, and he's gonna light up the pot. Now what Jeff doesn't know is that he is the one actually boiling these crawfish. All right, Jeff, you ready? All right, buddy, you wanna start with that bag of swamp fire. Five pounds of swamp fire crawfish boil. Now we got some Justin Wilson gonna put two pounds of that. That's gonna be a total of seven pounds of a seafood boil going in. And so you know, this is 15 gallons of water. All right, Jeff, grab the boil booster. Half a bag. That's just more garlic, herbs, things like that. About a half a bag. Yeah, take that liquid concentrate and go ahead and add half that bottle, eight ounces. We got some Justin Wilson hot sauce going in. That's kind of a mild, but very good, delicious hot sauce. That's right, throw it all in there. That is the flow through Zatarain's crawfish boil. That is pureed celery. That is a whole head of celery. We got some pureed onions. Did it the same way in a food processor, a little bit of water, about the consistency of a slushy margarita three pounds of onions. Now I got lemons, got a bucket full of them. That's a whole bag of 15 lemons. All right, Jeff, you see that pouch of bay leaf? Yeah, that, yeah, right there, throw that whole thing in there. That's probably about 25 bay leaves. Whole bag of garlic going in. I don't know how many heads. Hey, Jeff, how many heads you got there? About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, that's good. All right, Jeff, give all that a really good stir with that boat paddle there. There you go. We're gonna let this boil for about five minutes to fully dissolve the powders in this and get everything married up. Heck, even a Yankee can boil crawfish. Hey, when I have a crawfish boil, you never know who's gonna show up out of the woodwork. Got Mr. Jack's drink water here today too. He also has a YouTube channel. Be sure to go over there and check him out. I'll have a link in the description to his channel and Jeff's channel. This joker right here, you know who he is. He's part of Smoker Riz Barbecue. I don't know, I'm just happy to be here. Somebody said crawfish and I came running. He, right. he smelled them, that's what it was. <laughs> you can smell it, it smells good. Oh man, don't it? Jeff's got two sacks. These are the small sacks of the little new red potatoes, about the size of a golf ball. And if you're wondering, the little nets he's got them in are all cotton boiling bags made to be boiled in, going in. These are gonna cook Give them a 15 minute head start. Okay, we've been going 15 minutes. We got two bowling bags full of the little white button mushrooms going in. We're gonna give these a five minute head start. All right, now we're gonna go in with some olives. If you've never had olives in a crawfish bowl, you're missing out. 
We've got some olives stuffed with pimentos. We've also got olives stuffed with garlic going in. Now we're going in with the sausage, two types of sausage. That's poke Cajun smoked sausage. I've also got Kaneka smoked sausage, Cajun style going in. So we got these two young guys and they're gonna take it and dump in the crawfish. Thirty-three pounds of crawfish, that is, for the first batch. Now we're gonna turn the heat up, because I know that much, and we're gonna run it for another three minutes. All right, so now we're gonna shut down the gas and we're gonna add the corn. Here's our last part, the corn. All right, this corn starts cooling the pot right off the bat, right? But that's not enough to cool the entire thing. So we've got to grab the boil boss. Now we're gonna add the water, cool the pot. Yep. What you wanna do now is we gotta stir this for three minutes. It, it normally takes three minutes to fully cool down to about 150 degrees, and that's all you need. And what we're doing is we're taking water in the middle and we're moving it towards the outside. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the outside of this pot, you can feel it now. It's cool to the touch. Feel below that boil boss. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, and so it's like a heat exchanger. All right. So let's just keep this water moving. And the reason you do that, the crawfish will stop cooking at 150 and under. I'm getting hungry, Russ. Yep. Now, once we cool them, we got to let them soak for about 20, 25 minutes to really suck up that flavor. All right, if you notice, they're starting to sink a little bit. Okay, yeah. That's another indication that they're cooling off. And as they sink, that's when they really soak up all that flavor from the liquid that we seasoned up. Now, the next bowl is going to be seasoned even heavier. That's going to be a lot hotter. All right, now look at there. Perfect. That's perfect. What we can do is turn the boil boss off and just let them soak for, like I said, 20, 25 minutes. So what we do is let all that drain out from here. We're going to dump them in this ice chest over here to my right. You'll see it here momentarily. All right, we're ready? Yep. All righty, let's do it. Oh yeah. man this is it this is the last boil these are going to be the hot and spicy time to go in and you're not so tired no more are no, you i'm all awake okay. I, I feel energetic this steam has got me going all that coffee mountain dew paid off let's That's do right. it Well, we are done. We got both versions in front of us. We got the mild, semi-spicy, and then we got the spicier. I didn't make them so spicy that it would melt your face off or anything, but they should be a little bit more kicked up with the added cayenne and stuff like that. So, you ever ate a crawfish? No, I've never eaten a crawfish before in my life. All right, let me show you how to do it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, the first thing you do is, I always hold mine upright. Okay. And then I uh, break the head off. Okay. Now you gotta suck the head. 
suck head? Like this, what? And you can punch in on it like that. Makes it, oh boy, that's good. Mm. Okay, well, here it goes. I'm gonna suck some head. <laughs> mm. I like that. That's good, ain't it? It's real good. All right, now, you see this first little ringlet? Not everybody does this, but I, I tend to. I guess it's because of my underbite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. Peel that first ring off. Yeah, and I get it to where I can see my meat. Yeah. Right there. Now, if you don't want to eat the vein, you gotta separate it out of the shell and just pull the vein out. But we don't worry about that too much. Okay. You pinch your tail as you're pulling it with your teeth. Should pop right out. Got it. Mm. This is incredible. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Better than shrimp. You like that? I like that a lot. All right, let's let's do a hot and spicy. All right. Just like that. Snaps right out. I kind of like of cake. Really easy, and I kind of like sucking tail just as much as I like <laughs> sucking head. <laughs> really good. I tell you the truth. Out of the two different versions, man, I'm really digging this one. I like I like the spicier one a little better, to be I honest with you. And it's not too spicy where you can't eat it. No, I mean, it, my Norwegian blood can handle it. Yeah. Anybody can handle it. And I promise it. you, the longer they sit in that ice chest, even though they're out of the water, they'll yeah. get even spicier. Wow. Okay. Well, Russ, I want to thank you. I got crawfish hands. So do I. Okay, there we thank go. Thank you very much, buddy. Oh, this you're welcome, This is incredible. Man. I'm going to tell you right now. Do it. That's our crawfish bowl for 2022. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm Russ Jones. I'm Derek Jones. I'm Jeff Rice. And I'm Jack Drinkwater. Do it. <laughs>and I are going to be shooting two more videos. One is going to be a fire management video on an offset smoker and also doing a basic shrimp boil. We're going to show him how you can take just a few seasonings and create a fantastic shrimp boil.